my name is Silas Q and welcome back to my channel. Here's a quick and easy nail art tutorial on how to do marble nails. You're going to need white acrylic paint, black acrylic paint, white nail polish, something to blend the colors on, a very tiny brush, and a brush slightly bigger. Start off by painting your nails. Make sure it's opaque, so if you need to use two or three coats, go ahead and do that. Here's a tip. Instead of using acrylic paint, you can definitely use black or white nail polish, but I recommend paint because it's easier to blend. And if you mess up, you can actually just wash the acrylic paint off and start again on your white base. Now start off by putting your paint or nail polish in different sections. If you're using paint, a little goes a long way, so a drop of black and a little bit of white is perfect. Now taking a very, very little bit of black, mix it together with the white paint. It should con it should create a very light gray color that's just slightly darker than the white we're working with. So what you're going to do is just slab it on. Basically just put the brush and drag it. And what we're doing here is we're breaking up the harsh color of the white, but we're still going to have that peeking through in the back because we're going for different shades of gray. Now put in a little bit more of black, mix it together with the colors we had already, creating a darker shade of gray. Now put that on top of your nails, anywhere you like really. Once again, this is going to show us just different shades of gray and it's going to create more dimension and shadows and it's going to look awesome at the end, I promise you that. Now you're going to blend the colors together a little bit, but you still want to make sure you're able to see different shades of gray. Now using your tiniest brush that you have, you're going to dip that in your black and your white and you're going to create a darker shade of gray. This is going to be the, the veiny looking things, the veiny looking lines basically. And here I'm just dipping it in the water so it's more of a watery and light effect and it's just really easy for it to glide on the nails and it creates a lighter color so it's not a harsh squiggly line. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a few. But yeah, the water really helps. Your shade of gray should be this color or a little bit darker or lighter. It's up to you, but I find this color is perfect for it. Now start creating a squiggly line, one long squiggly line, and just create branches from it. I say just imagine you're drawing a tree branch. So one long part and then just make tiny little pieces from it. And basically what I'm doing here is just putting squiggly lines in random places and dots and whatnot. There's no perfect way in doing it. Honestly, I was just inspired by my marble countertop and I was just having fun with it. So yeah, all there is to it is making squiggly line and making it look like a tree branch. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it to you. I find that it looks a lot better when you make one line prominent and then the rest kind of darker and lighter. So you just mix it up a bit. And then when you make the squiggly lines around that one prominent area, make it a little bit lighter. So what I'm doing here is I dipped my brush in the water and I'm kind of just dragging it over the nail very gently. I'm blending the colors in, but I'm still letting it be able to show that there's different shades going on. So it's not just one shade of gray completely taking over the nails. You see spots that are darker and lighter. And here's the final look. Make sure you put a top coat on because you don't want to wash your hands and wash off all the paint. Hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.